at the end of the day, um, I'd rather come second with a really nice bunch of guys and I win with a bunch of assholes. Hello. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> nice to be here. I love the place. You, you love Trieste. I think Trieste is incredible. I mean, the architecture and the building, they are just fascinating. It's incredible history. No, it's, this is an incredible place. But most of the city, I think you like the you like the Gulf of Trieste uh, because you are the skipper of Tempus Fuji. Yeah, that's right. Well, we are a lot of bosses on, on Tempus Fuji, but the main thing is always teamwork. And we have a really nice team uh, coming from many different countries. And I'm very proud of them. We've had a lot of fun, uh, which is the key. You know, even if you don't win, if you're having fun, it's still worth it. So no, we, we, we're really excited. Last year we were very short on preparations. We only had about five days of preparation and, and my yacht, which is actually called Tokolosh, uh, which is South African gnome, we're very cool. Uh, the, the Tokolosh is a very difficult boat to sail and uh, it takes a lot of time to get ready. When we created uh, my first big racing team uh, uh, with Nicorette, we took us three years to be good enough to win the world championships. So last year, with the most difficult boat in the world, in five days, we tried to, buy, tried to win the Barcolana, which is a very difficult race to win. Yeah. This year, we're back with more preparation. We have a lot of time to think about what our job is. And uh, we have a really nice team. You know, at the end of the day, um, I'd rather come second with a really nice bunch of guys than I win with a bunch of assholes. <laughs> so, so that's my principle. We yeah. uh, we do this for fun. Nobody's supposed to get hurt. We try the best we can to uh, to get a good result. But at the end of the day, you have to do everything for the right reasons. And what we are committed to at the moment yes. is women's health, and I think it is a crucial part of what we stand for. Yes, I agree. Um, you say this year we will start with some. Uh, some race before the Barcolana, let's see how it goes, and then yeah, yeah. you won the maxi race in Porto Piccolo yeah. and the Trofeo Bernetti, congratulations. Yeah, thank you, thank you, it was fantastic. I mean, the party afterward was the best part, but, <laughs> you know, winning is a lot more fun than losing. But, yeah. you know, the fact is that Arca was extremely fast. Uh, we made a lot of mistakes in the first and the second race. In the last race, we were absolutely fantastic. and. You know, a team like this needs, as I said, the time to grow as a team, the time to grow with the boat, and we are slowly, slowly, slowly getting better and better. And so uh, hopefully Sunday is a good day for us. We interviewed now five minutes ago Furio Benussi. You know, he, got, uh, he went through a very bad story just before the Barcolana, but uh, he's uh, ready to, to fight. Oh, yeah. And uh, he agreed with uh, what uh, Mite Cosmina said a few days ago during the presentation that more 100 feet, more competition, because you know, the competition between the usual two maybe was a bit yeah. uh, too much. Well, it's fantastic now. We also got Morning Glory, which is uh, racing for Slovenia. I think there are 15 boats in the race who are fast enough to win if the other boats make mistakes. The problem with the race is that if you make a mistake, you're out. So it's purely, you cannot win the race because you are brilliant. You only win the race because you make less mistakes than the others. You have no way of recovery. You know, you, you make a mistake, you're out the back door. So we are trying to... Uh, learn a way by which we eliminate mistakes. It's, it's, for me, say yacht racing is a matter of you have to eliminate every excuse why you would lose. Yes. Then you can win. Yes. And that's the principle that we're working on. So we at the moment of videoing our maneuvers, we are try analyzing our maneuvers, we are looking where mistakes are made, we are analyzing where we can make improvements. And of course, we would like to have a longer project. With this team, I think we could, I mean, I won three world championships. With this team, we could win a world championship, but it takes a long time to get good, for, good and ready to earn it. Yeah, but you, uh, following the last series, I think you are on the, well, on the good way. Yeah, we'll be getting closer, and, uh, and that's the whole thing. It takes time, you've got to be patient, you've got to be calm. We have a language problem at times, it sounds like all the Australians, New Zealanders, English and Germans, whenever, you know, things get a bit heated, the language switches to Italians and we're going like, what's going on? 
<laughs> we have made an agreement with all the Italians that when you get very excited, you still have to speak English because otherwise we have no idea what's going on. <laughs> but I love this. I think it's, you know, the, it's a sport. Yes. We're doing it for fun, and at the moment, we are growing very, very fast as a team, and that's all I want. That's all I want. What's Barcolana for you? I have never seen an event like this. Last year, it was just the most incredible sailing experience, and I've been doing this for a very long time. I have never seen anything like it. I don't even understand what happened last year, because it was over in less than one hour. Um, I'm glad I'm back here because at 63 years of age, um, I, I want to experience it so many times that I actually can remember it. But no, this is amazing. This is, it's not only the fact that there are so many visitors to the village. It's not only the fact that there are so many people watching the start and the race. If you compare, I, told, I don't know what the numbers are, but somebody told me there were 2 million visitors to the race village. That there were half a million people watching the race. Do you realize I've just been to Singapore, I have business there. The Formula One of Singapore attracted 248,000 visitors. Wow. How can a yacht race in Trieste more than double that number? I'm absolutely blown away. Italian do it better? Uh, absolutely, <laughs> and, with pa and with passion. <laughs> and with passion. All my crew loves being here, I'll tell you that. They, they, they think the atmosphere is amazing, the girls are beautiful, the food is incredible, the wine is the Prosecco. I mean, Romano, keep one of our crew members, he's a specialist on using a sable and cutting on top of uh, a Prosecco bottle. He's done it successfully four times out of five. But no, it's amazing. Uh, no, we just have so much fun. This is an event to behold. This is one of the biggest excelling experiences I ever had in my career and we will keep on coming. I will come back here every year till the day I can't anymore. Oh, that's Which good. Thank you. <laughs> thank you so much. <laughs> Luther, thank you very much for your time. So, grazie mille. Grazie mille. <laughs>